Hello guys and welcome to this video. I haven't done a video in a long while because of exams and stuff. But I have my exams two, two days from now. But I thought, let's make a video. So I'm going to do something different. I'm going to do a review of the Real Racing 3 game for iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch and all your Apple devices pretty much. This game is it's really good being it's free but there is some drawbacks like that you have to if you want to upgrade your car faster um, you have to pay by buying tokens up up in this corner but and it does take a lot of space up on your device like over one gig so that might be an issue on the iPhone or or like any other device that you just got to choose between music or games really okay so I have a lot of different cars on here and there's it's updated really regularly and it uses Wi-Fi to well play against other people online but when I say that it's, you just compete against their times really so I don't want to buy a car so you've got all like different Audis, Bugattis, Ford Dodge, Lamborghinis and all like your major car car manufacturers so, so let's do a let's do a race so just to show you what the gameplay is like and this is I'm showing you this on the third generation iPad which uses the retina display and I have to say the graphics are really good Okay, just do a circuit. It's like this is my full Fiesta, which has taken me ages to upgrade, and and it gets damaged a lot, being so I have a very weird way of racing and damage, damaging the car a lot. So that's where most of my money goes. But yeah, so I'm competing against people online. If you can see that, just their times, not their actual not actually them syncing with my Wi-Fi or anything so let's, let's, let's check the brightness is up so you can all see that and resume right. you should change the so they have a lot of different assists on here so we've got steering assists brake assist I mine on high and traction control which helps a lot so this is a timed race so it uses the gyroscope within the iPad to to yeah to control the car and yeah so you can see the corners go around smoothly the graphics and the, the trees and everything go really well and I think this game is a good contender for the top 25 app, really. I think it has been at the top for quite some time. So I'm at the... Okay. So, let's see, upgrade. So you do not have enough R to upgrade your car, but you can buy it, which I'm not going to do because I don't want to spend my hard-earned money on on a game really okay let's let me show you a circuit because that's a bit bit more interesting go to say um circuit so this is the first circuit if you download the game that you you'll find let's use my ford focus not the best car but you know so I'm starting at the back for some reason. I don't know why it does that all the time. But, you know. Waves. Alright. So let's hopefully I'll come out top on this race. So, yeah, the graphics are really good. They're like, I got out my game by advanced SP the other day to play Need for Speed and the graphics on that is terrible compared to just this game on my iPad, do you know what I mean? So it's changed, graphics have changed a lot and it runs so smoothly, even on my iPhone 4S it runs 
really smooth and the colours like the light and it just it's a really good gaming experience but it's the only flaws are that it's quite heavy in size but it doesn't really matter if you use your iPad for gaming most of the time and yeah it's just a really good game and it's good if you want to pass some time just whip out your iPad and have a game well let, let me know what you think of, of this game and any other games you want me to review and tell me what you think of this video and th thanks for watching give it, give it a thumbs up will help me a lot but if you don't want to give me a thumbs up that's cool as well give me a thumbs down if you don't like it I guess thanks for watching Bye.